of here and don't trouble me again. All right, Gambetti. What are we going to do today? Entourage. That's a crappy TV show. An even crappier movie. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Yeah. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me laugh. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry? Might finally come to an end. <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. <sighs> He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so bodyguard mission. This should be fun. Relatively simple. As I say that, now I'm going to fail like 18 times. Like me. Uh, how far is this terminal? Of course, it's Cross City. Which means taxi time, because I am not driving that distance, because it takes fucking forever. Sweet, sweet roll, Nico. Taxi, 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 taxi. I'll be taking that. Thanks, bro. You can get on out. Take me where I need to go. Thank you, please. All right, there he is. Hey, Baldy. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. That's easy enough. 
I get my own car. Nobody's even in it. I don't know. I get to drive Bobby Jefferson. All right. Uh, let's John, make sure I have the right gun here. There we go. Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. I just drive drive away with them. <laughs> I'm actually working for the medicine. Russians now. Well, Alright, so uh, a trailer mission, which are even more annoying because it's be like, gotta go at their speed. Which I hate. I'm sure once uh, shit starts hitting the fan, this looks like it's planned out here. No, John, I guess go down a different problem. route. It's my problem as yep. well. They're like, Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Yeah, man, there's a problem. Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. You're gonna get killed. That's what's gonna happen to you. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Told you. Let's get out of here. Why would you get out of the car? Uh. Let's go. We're going this way. Oh, I gotta fight them, don't I? Get out there and deal with them. Alright. Sure. Deal with the damn Russians. Alright, you're dead. Deekaboo, bitch. Good thing uh, Nico Bellic is like Superman and can take like a million bullets. Stupid ass Russians. You ain't got shit on Nico. These guys on the ground first before I get fucking rinsed by them. Are we getting back in the car? Alright, get in the car. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, four Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? It's all right. I'll just lose the pursuers because I'm the best driver in the world. That CV better not get in my way. There we go. Look at that. That was really, really easy. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life. To to lose those guys, all I did was drive straight. <laughs> All right, that was easier than I thought it would be. Look, I'm just supposed to drive in there, but I'm going to continue following the waypoints because the waypoints tell me to go this way. I'm going to drive on in. Fuck it. There you go, buds. You're home. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Thanks. That's a nice car back there, that red one. I think I might steal it. All my overtime is going to jail bonds again. <laughs> My poll now. All right, Gravelli. What do you have to say? Mr. Gravelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. You did good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later. All right, let's take this car. Come on. Come on, Nico. Pick up the speed. All right, back at the hospital for more dining out. I'd go for some food right now. Whoa, ah, Nico, good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. 
Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vine wood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy. Eliminate a Korean. And no good for patriots like you and me. <laughs> so Making counterfeit he? money. His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. <laughs> 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 Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, look at his thumb. What's up with his thumb? Kim Young Gook, he eats at yeah, right. Mr. Fook. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. <laughs> yeah, in Alderney City. Don't worry. Sounds like a super easy here. mission. Shoot a guy. Done. <laughs> Hitman missions. Simple, simple, simple. All right. Where'd my car go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, how far away is this restaurant? That's the real question. Holy tits. Yep, I am taking... <laughs> Why do I keep pressing great bumper? Get out of cover, Nico. Oh, God. It's so annoying sometimes. Uh, call up Roman. Get some car, hopefully. I'm not driving that distance. Hey, Roman. You couldn't send a cab for a cousin in need, could you? Wait right there, MB. I'm dispatching more Perfecto. Where the hell is that car coming from? Six blocks away, man. Oh, fuck it, I'm taking a taxi. Things like parked on the highway. Yo, it's taking me to my desk. Thanks, sir. Shoot people in GTA? Well, I never shut up, Karen. <laughs> Uh, whoop, whoop. Uh, all right, Mr. Gook eating at Mr. Fook. Hello. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost. Oh, great. So, obviously, we're going to... People are just gonna start fucking going ape shit, right? Wanna shoot me? I get into this restaurant. Run away, motherfucker! Why you steal cash? There's no way out! Yep, I knew it. I have a lock on him. Try yeah, you got a fucking baseball bat? How about that? Got a baseball bat? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Suck it. I should probably whip out a gun before I die. <laughs> The baseball bat is terrible in this game, as you just saw. You must come out now. You must come out now. Dude, I'm getting wit the fuck up. I tell if that guy's dead or not. I'm not answering that question. Your fucking stomach. I need some health, brah. Shaka, brah.
Anything back here? No? Fuck you, stupid. Wall decorate. Oh god. Holy tits, man. That guy took an entire clip before he died. I thought that door would open. You thought like an idiot. I really regret taking all that damage from that first guy. <laughs> took up took up my entire health. Question the manager, eh? I'll question him. Where is Kim? Oh, thank Kim's God. Not here. He left a long time ago. You best if you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Where the fuck did these guys come from? Turn around, Nico. Alright. Everybody was kung fu fighting with guns. Yeah, you're just gonna beat him to death? Alright, cool. Yeah, aren't we all, Kim? Aren't we all? So am I. Die, you shit. Shoot him, you fuck! Oh my god, this stupid game. I break my ankles. Get him, Nico. Uh, I guess I gotta do this on a bike now. I hate the motorcycles in this game. They're the absolute worst. He dead? No, he's still shooting at me, okay. Now he's dead. See you later, fuckboy. Yeah! He's past his last false bill, Mr. Gravelli. Well done, my boy. This is gonna be a fruitful partnership for us both.